cut, wrap, and strap your way to energy savings. Getting started requires no special tools. You need a plier stapler and 3 8 inch staples, a utility knife, a measuring tape, a pair of standard scissors, a marking pen, and a table for cutting. Shown here is one of seven very hot, uninsulated gate valves in this room. Before you get started, make sure you note the information on the component ID tag. It will be covered up once it is insulated. Then, measure the component. In this case, we will measure the stem length and approximate circumference of the bonnet. Next, calculate the size of the blanket by determining the amount of cut and wrap squares needed for the length and circumference of the valve. Since cut and wrap squares are 8 inches by 8 inches, it's as simple as counting the squares. For the gate valve, we want 5 squares long and 3 squares wide. Cutting is easy. Just use your utility knife and follow the seams. Next, we will attach the hook and loop fastener strips. Measure the straps. Each strap should be equal in length to the blanket, and then add 6 inches at the end of each strip. Most components will need at least two straps. Make a small loop at the end of each strip, and then roll each strip up. This makes the blanket easier to install without the strips dangling and sticking to each other, and easier to remove and replace when the time comes. Then staple the rolled straps to one end of the blanket. You are now ready to install the insulation blanket. Once in place, adjust the straps to assure a good fit. Fill out the ID tag clearly, noting the information on the valve you just insulated. As you work with the product more, you will find that you can easily customize them on the job for a better fit. In this case, the installer cut out the area that will be applied around the bonnet on a gate valve. Semicircles are easily cut to fit around the bonnet. The cut edges are stapled before wrapping it around the valve. Many times you will find several bare, hot components in one location, like this one. Again, insulating them is simple. The installer will insulate the bare elbow, the flange, and the pressure relief valve as separate components. Note how the installer slit the sides of the blanket to help fit the curve of the elbow. This hot flange took just a few minutes to measure, cut, and install with a single section of 8-inch squares. The pressure relief valve is the last component insulated. Note that some of the blanket overlaps one of the flanges to help fill in a heat loss gap. This series of components took less than 30 minutes to measure, cut, and wrap. Here is another tip for complex components. The installer splits the blanket to accommodate the pressure regulator that they are leaving bare. With cut and wrap, nothing goes to waste. Smaller or shorter segments can be wrapped around the tops of hot valve stems for additional safety and heat loss savings. Installation of Evergreen Cut and Wrap is quick and easy and is used by energy conscious facility managers and insulation contractors alike, saving time and labor and dollars in energy costs. For more information, go to www.cutandwrap.com or call Auburn Manufacturing at 800-264-6689.